Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney, since taking over Wrexham Football Club, have shown incredible generosity and willing to engage with the local community. Not just with putting in the initial £2 million and putting in the money into Wrexham Football Club itself to push it from lower half National League back into the Football League and then further up into League 2 and potentially moving up to League 1, fingers crossed. They've also been willing to put money in into the local area, either giving money to local charities or to businesses that have been robbed. The most recent development in the last few days is that Rob and Ryan have put in £15,000 to Walking for Hope charity, which is a charity based around supporting young people and adults with mental health difficulties and building resilience through reconnection with nature. As part of the campaign, the co-founder, John Bell, is walking approximately 140 miles from Mansfield Football Club to Wrexham over seven days, arriving on Good Friday. They're obviously doing a lot more of the walks elsewhere, but John Bell will be dressed up as Deadpool and will be carrying a specifically adapted bath displaying duck sponsored by those bereaved by suicide, honouring lost loved ones. And obviously what I'll do in the description, I'll put a link to the charity. So if you are looking to donate or are interested in the charity, it is there for you to have a look and then decide if you wish to donate any further to, to the charity. I think they're trying to raise £100,000 over the course year to help those struggling with mental health and see if they can help help those those people that are struggling there. I mean, it's, even in the last couple of months, Rob and Ryan also donated to a charity for a young lad called Lewis Perrin, who suffers with a rare genetic condition, which is that uh, he has epilepsy, cerebral palsy, um, and he has lots of different difficulties. So Rob and Ryan donated 10,000 pounds to the local charity for that, to help him. It's just, just fantastic to see what Rob and Ryan have done for local people and local area. And, I mean, you could say we have quite a lot of money, but I don't really know any, I, I mean, unless you could tell me otherwise, you could let me know what other football club owners have put this sort of investment in the local charities and areas. I'd be, be delighted to hear hear about that. I mean, their investment in Wrexham Football Club has certainly paid off even if it's just the valuation of Wrexham Football Club, as Sean Harvey at the at the Sport NX conference in Melbourne stated that with an estimate that from initially being worth about two million, it's gone up Wrexham's value Wrexham FC's value has gone to over nine million. Well it's also mentioned that social media platforms have increased from hundred and fifty two thousand to nearly four million. So I think if at some point down the line, obviously Robin Ryan will sell Wrexham, they will make a good return on whatever it is, whatever <laughs> whatever price it be. If we Wrexham are in the championship, it probably Wrexham probably will be worth a lot more than nine million pounds in the end. To be honest, it's just mainly wonderful to see what they've been doing for Wrexham Football Club, and hopefully there's more to come. And I will put, like I said, I'll put links in the description of the charity and and all different stories relating to the valuation and it's a lot of big changes at Wrexham Football Club. No doubt it will probably slow down in in the next few years if Wrexham do stabilise at a League One or Championship level. Wait and see and there might be a lot more spending have to done be done by the maybe the owners or using this revenue to push the club on further. Wait and see on that on that. But yeah but thanks for listening. Uh, please subscribe and we'll chat with you soon. Thanks. Goodbye.